We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you in the kitchen of Vilcabamba, Ecuador with the precious sweetness. Yummiest of all, Angela Stokes Monarch. Ah, uh, and Sparky, look, Sparky. Sparky eating some corn. He's a new man. We took the shinkles off him and made him the alpha male. I've, I've given up the alpha male to Sparky. We took look the at shackles him. You can see his it. feet so he can dance, didn't we, Baba? Yes. Okay, I am extremely excited about this recipe. Why? Normally I don't get excited about recipes, as you all know, but this is something special. Okay. Angela makes these yum balls. There's no coconut oil, there's no oil in it whatsoever. I don't know how it happens. It must be from the almonds or something. But it seriously tastes like chocolate melting in your mouth. Like, it tastes like there's coconut oil in it. But it's just not the case. I'm going to go drink some coconuts over there because I'm, like, going to quench my thirst right now from all the coconuts we get. Maybe you can do the shim sham in the meantime. Thank you. Maybe we can tell them why we're on a kind of strange camera as well. Yeah, the flip cam, man. I break those like it's no tomorrow. I have one back up, and that's the end of it. We have to use my computer. I've got one more flip cam. we got to send more even. Maybe they like this camera option. And there's something else very exciting. Why? More than words. Baba. Angela just did this off-the-hook song in the bathroom. Acoustic is just flying in there. She did more than words for the benefits program. Even she, I, when she was listening to it, she was even impressed by her own music. I was like, dang. And Jeepers. I was just like, I mean, you sure heard the comments I said. But I'm not going to say it because it's a rude one. That is a rude one. Okay. Anything else before? No. She showed me the shim shams. Yep. And I'm just going to take my glass straw and I'll be right back with the coconut. All right, so this is a carob yumble recipe that kind of came about um, by itself. On Christmas Day, I was making some different raw desserts and this appeared. It appeared actually as the base for a mango cake. And it was so good that we decided to just make it into little yumbles and then uh, everyone was just eating it like that. So it's a very simple recipe. It's only five ingredients, but you can add other things as well, if you want. So... That's even more crazy. That is five ingredients. I know, it's crazy, hey? It's so good. Really simple ingredients as well, or at least from my perspective. So, the first ingredient, the main ingredient, is almonds, raw almonds. So, we have a big bulk sack of those here and what I did was I put probably about a pound of them maybe less I'm not really sure into a Blentec and I ground them down into this hopefully you can see that it's just like horses stamping around in the background um, almonds ground down in the Blentec there we go and so now we're gonna add the other four ingredients the next one is raw honey. This is like local, amazing raw honey from around here. And if you don't like using honey, then use something else. Use coconut secrets, coconut syrup, or use agave, or whatever you feel good about. Um, I love this local honey. It looks like all crystallized on the top but you can stir it up and then it gets liquidy. It's amazing. If you guys have read Anastasia, she states that all animals were meant to serve man. Uh-oh. In a good way. And today it's a little messed up, but we have this ability to emanate love. And it's the most ultimate vibration on the world. Just like your dog wants your love and is always like, come here, come here, come here. The animals like pleaded to help man just so they could be part of that feeling. They wanted to get in on the vibration. Bees would be spraying around, making honey for the man so well, you know, just like, ooh, ah. All right. Um, I'm 
I'm going to put in quite a lot of this honey, I think. But I'm just going to pour it because I don't have anything to measure it with right here. So I would think that's probably about four tablespoons, maybe three, I don't know, something like that, of runny, yummy, raw honey. And something I wanted to tell you guys about was something that I do with the honey here, which all of you could do as well, if you feel drawn, is I've been putting essences into the honey. These are flower essences, and we have some really beautiful ones here. We have one that's called Vitality Blessings, and we have one called Celebrate Life, and another one called Living in Community, and lots of these different things. And all I do, these, are, these aren't oils, these are flower essences, so these are water-based. And I put a few drops of, here for example we have the Vitality Blessings, put a few drops of that into the honey, and stir it up so that the honey then gets infused with those beautiful messages. And of course I like to think about what that means to me while I'm doing that, Vitality Blessings and what, what it might bring to the people who eat these delicious carob yumbles. And if you don't have essences, but you maybe have essential oils, you could put those in as well, you know? So you, this is like orange essential oil. You could make your honey into like orange honey flavor by putting in some essential oils. Or you could also just put all of these things directly into your recipes. You gotta make sure that you get food grade essential oils though. So not all essential oils are food grade. That's something to be aware of. You gotta get the really good quality ones. These ones are food grade. And another thing that you can put in of course is the flavor extracts. Um, we absolutely love these things. I very often put the orange flavor extract into um, the different foods that I make or the dark chocolate flavor extract. So there's lots of different ways that you could put flavors into here or into your honey or whatever you want to do. Um, but this recipe, just the five ingredients today. So we got the almonds and the honey, and now we're gonna put a little bit of salt. This is similar to Celtic sea salt, but it's from here in Ecuador, as far as I know. And a little bit of maca. I would say, yeah, about a teaspoon. That was like a little bit less than a teaspoon. But you could put in as much as you want, just not everybody likes a lot of maca. And then we have um, carob, which gives it that amazing chocolatey taste, raw carob. And I'm gonna put quite a lot of that in. I would think about, Mm, again, probably about three or four heaping tablespoons by the time I was done there. And that's it. That's the five ingredients. Almonds, honey, maca, salt, and carob. And then we're going to let the food processor go for it. In the meantime, Mom, I'm going to entertain you. Baba. My favorite micronutrients that I eat every day. All right. All right. That was enough of that. So what you end up with is this kind of um, mealy dough that will stick together when you squeeze it. See? You can like squeeze it into little shapes. And so what you can do is you can take clumps of it like this and just squeeze it into balls, and that's often what we do. And then you end up with these amazing little 
carob maca almond yum balls or what I'm wanting to do today I've got one of these very yummy plastic mold form things which some of you are probably going to freak out why are you using plastic? well it's pretty and I'm going to squish the mixture into these mold forms and then I'm going to put them in the freezer and then whenever we want I some... make balls out of them. We do, that's what I was just saying. You can make it into balls. Sure. You can also use this as a pie crust if you want. So also with these little like heart form molds or whatever kind of mold you have like this, you could press this in as a base and then you could make some yummy topping to go as like the top part and make a load of little... This is all almonds, organic almonds in Ecuador. They have them here and check this out. On February 1st, we are getting our stone grinding nut butter machine. Wow. And if this works the way I think it's going to work, I'm going to bring it to you. Woo! And everybody's going to make their own nut butters. Ho, ho, ho. All right. That's it, Bubba. That's it? That's it. All right. It was very simple, wasn't it? It was very simple. It's a nice one, isn't it? Did you guys know that I've got, we, we sell these on our website, glass straw cases? I knew that. There's another kind as well, isn't there, Bubba? That's just too big. There's a hemp kind There's as well. There's a hemp kind too. This is the bomb though. You could like throw this and nothing's gonna happen. All right, so who do we got here? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch rocking the best yum balls on the planet and I can vouch for it. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.